cut down on your emails, on your meetings, be able to effortlessly prioritize your tasks and spend way less time searching for information. Oh, and also never forget a deadline. One tool can give you all of those benefits and it's called a task management platform. You might've heard of Asana or ClickUp or Microsoft Planner. These are all task management platforms. In fact, many teams, including ours, use their task management platform to move to zero meeting and zero email workflows. Is that even possible? Yes, it's possible. We've been doing it for over seven years, so definitely. Incredible, right? These days, they're all pretty much the same, but we adore Asana. It's a high-tech 21st century to-do list, which means it's way better than a traditional to-do list for example, because all of our task lists for everyone in my company are connected. So if Demir thinks of something for me to do, he just sends it to me as a task that appears right on my task list. So no emailing necessary. And we don't just use it for work, but all of our personal tasks too, like ordering the dog food, making doctor's appointments, coordinating with the nanny. And Asana's not the only choice in the market. So check out my other video to find the task manager that's right for you. But the topic of this video is how to use Asana to organize your entire life because there's a right way to use Asana and a lot of wrong ways. Asana's main organizational tool is the project. So I have projects for main initiatives inside my business that have specific completion dates like launching our book, which is going to happen later this year and developing new courses. And I also have projects for ongoing initiatives that don't have hard end dates, like creating new YouTube videos that we film on a monthly basis. And I also have projects for my personal life, like birthdays. So I have a whole project that is just for the important birthdays that I want to remember and actually buy a present in advance for. So the first thing to think about is what projects would you need to create inside Asana? And you can get creative here. Say you're a service provider with a handful of clients, you could have a project for each client and keep track of the work for them in that way. One project that I love that we have for our team is what I call our goals project that specifically lists out all of our big year long goals so that our whole team has that transparency and understands how their work that they're doing today ladders up to the big year long milestones. But you don't have to have a project for everything just those biggest projects where you feel you could use some additional organization. The second and most useful tool inside Asana is the task. So I have tasks for everything that I need to do for today, this week, and this month. Yes, everything that I need to remember. And inside each task, I store all the relevant details. So like the due date, links to any supporting documents, the done criteria. I even put a star emoji in front of tasks that relate to my champagne moment or my number one priority. And I tag my tasks to help group them together if they're not already in a project. So one tag that's particularly helpful is called urgent, which I have made so that I can easily differentiate those urgent tasks from other less urgent tasks. And right inside the task itself, that's where the collaboration happens. That's where the communication happens with members of your team. So whether it's a task to remind myself that I need to schedule a doctor's appointment for my daughter or a task to follow up with our publicist or a task to reply to a very lengthy client email, it all goes into my Asana so that I can move things around and prioritize. This is where the magic happens because I'm able to see everything I need to do in one place. It's not scattered across emails, various messaging platforms, verbal reminders from somebody, or just kicking around in my brain. It's all consolidated into my one single task list into Asana. So the next thing to ask yourself is, what are the tasks that I need to do today, this week, this month? What are the tasks that my team members need to do? And all of those go into Asana. Now, don't worry about getting necessarily every last thing because you can always keep adding tasks in whenever you remember them. Once you've set up your projects and tasks, you are officially ready to rock and roll with Asana. And instead of messaging your team members on other platforms or pinging them on email, challenge yourself to keep that communication exclusively inside Asana at that task level. You will be amazed at how much faster and clearer your team is able to work using a tool like Asana. 
And when you delegate tasks thoroughly and correctly in Asana, you'll start noticing that your team is able to get more and more and more done without your input, meaning that you have more time to spend on your deep work. Okay, so clearly we love Asana. We teach all of our high level clients how to use it and you really can't go wrong with it. However, like all task management platforms, it is so packed full of features that it can be hard to understand which features to use and which ones to skip. After all, the secret to getting good results from your task manager is being able to use it consistently. And to use it consistently, you need to have a simple process to follow to use it, all right? Not some convoluted, complicated, fancy way of using it that you aren't able to stick to in the long term. So that's why I put together a detailed course on how to use Asana the life hack method way. It's for any professional or entrepreneur who wants to learn how to use Asana effectively and consistently to power their work and power their lifestyle. It's going to show you behind the curtain of how we use Asana every day to run life hack method and run our personal life and the step-by-step -step process that you can follow to use it too. So click the link in the description to get the full details and learn when enrollment is going to open. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're obsessed with human potential and living your best life like we are, then consider subscribing to this channel too. See you on our next video.